Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about clustering analysis in Tableau. So uh, I'm going to use the data set called Iris from R. So you can see that there are four numeric um, variables and then there's one categorical variables. So now I'm going to uh, create a, uh, I'm going to create a scatter plot first for the, just to visualize the clustering analysis. Um, so now I'm going to drag uh, two out of the four variables to the shelf. And you can see that um, there will be uh, one aggregate point here. This is the, this is, um, uh, that Tableau is always um, go with the aggregate data first. So there, you, so there is only one data point here. So in order to create a scatter plot, you have to um, you have to tell you have to to tell Tableau to um, to separate each um, each data point by uh, by a specific level. So the 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 deepest le level in the data set will be the row ID. Uh, if there isn't a row ID in your data set, so you can just you should manually create that one outside the Tableau. So here uh, I, I already have that, so I'm going to uh, drag the row ID into the view. So uh, let me first make that to dimension and make it to uh, to a string. So this will be recognized as a row ID or as a as a category. So let me drag this to the detail, and then you will see that. Um, each uh, each of the data point represent uh, one row in the original data set. So now let me zoom in to to to, to the plot. So I can actually do the same in R. So. I actually have this plot here. So you can see that um, there are two variables here. So uh, you can see that they're identical for uh, whether you are using um, using Tableau or using the plot function in R to, to create the plot. So now I'm going to see the actual uh, clustering from the original data. So now I'm just going to drag species into the color. So you can see that there are three categories here. So the blue one, the yellow one, and the red one. So this is the actual result. So now I'm going to generate, I'm going to create another plot. And then using the clustering analysis, um, the k-mean algorithm from Tableau to see, to, to, to do the clustering analysis. Now I'm going to analytic cluster and drag it to the view. So I so originally um, there are only two fields included for the analysis. In order, so I'm going to drag the other two unused field into the into this box, and then I'm going to indicate I'm going to make the cluster three clusters in the plot. So now I can see that. Um, um, the color represent by the cluster and then this is the cluster that the Tableau generated so now I'm going to compare to see between the actual result and the um, the, the clustering analysis from Tableau so as you can see that um, for the first cluster it seems like they are uh, perfectly uh, matched. And then, however, it seems like there are two um, overlapping here. There are some overlapping here. So you can see that some of the points, for example, this one should be recognized as uh, a red one. But however, it seems like this one, um, this one should be recognized as orange. Should be a cluster from the second cluster, but it seems like this one be belongs to, the, to to another cluster. So some of the some of the data points are 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 correctly classified, but there are some. So it seems like there is some um, boundary that is not uh, not clearly distinguished. However, it seems like the, but the k-mean algorithm is actually doing a good job here. 
so you can still see like the the gen uh, the, the, the 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 general boundary for the for the for the three category. So basically, for the k-min algorithm, is that you 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 put three um, you put k num um, k number of center to the data to the to the in, into your data, and then you are going to calculate the shortest distance between um, for between each data point to to each of the center. So for the so the data point will be class will be uh, cl classified as this um, as the first category if the if the data point has the shortest distance to the first um, to the first center after you do the first um, clustering and then you and then and then you repeat the same procedure until there's no change for the for the for the classification and then that will be that will be your final result for the clustering uh, procedure so you can see that um, so if you you can actually you can actually change the number of class clusters. So let's see if I change it to four clusters, what will happen? It seems like um, for the second category, there will be um, there will there will be so it will go it will separate it will separate the the second category into into another two group here. So let's see. So it seems like um, for this part, the actual result is one category in total. However, if I specify in, so I specify to cluster into four groups, then it seems like there will be two from from this group. But the actual result is only one group here. And then you can act, you can also you can also look into the model here to describe the clusters. And then you can see that um, so thirty five will be the between group um, sum of square. So the large, the larger, the, the larger means um, the well um, classified uh, between each group, and then within group means like the variation between within each group, and this will be the variation between uh, between uh, different groups. So you can see that. Um, the the number for each cluster, and then the center. This is the center that um, that uh, for each um, data for each uh, uh, cluster. So there should be one center here, one cent another center here, third center, and then the fourth center. So that number. So the number here will represent by the the num the center. In a four dimension, so it won't be visualized in in this um two dimensional uh, graph. You can also look at the model, so you can see that um for F statistic, it means like um so the this variables uh is the major uh, major variable that separate the 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 uh, that make that um uh, make the clusters. But it seems like um they are rel the number are relatively similar. So it seems like um, all of them together are, are uh, helps to make the to distinguish each category, and then the p-value are are small, and then this will be the model sum of square and error sum of square. So the larger uh, F statistic means the the major uh, it represent whether how important the this um, variables is actually helping you to separate the 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 the, the category. So let me put this back to three category, and then look at the model. So you see that um, it seems like um, yeah. So now. The F, the the largest um, F statistic is this one. So, so, yeah, and then this will help you to recognize the center, and then help you to recognize which variable is the major major feature that help you to class to 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 separate the each category. So, um, 
So this is how you can do you can you can conduct a clustering analysis in Tableau, and then you can see that um, it is actually doing a good job. However, this is a textbook example. So in the real life, you the the clustering may not. Um, you have to decide that your you have have to decide uh, 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 for the the number of clusters that you want to separate the data. So I believe there isn't a, a, a um, there is an there isn't a, a method to get the best k to tell you uh, whether how how many categories you want to separate. But um, so you can you can try different number of k to see whether to see if your data point can be uh, can be uh, separated into different category. So uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any question or uh, leave a comment in the in below. So um, thank you very much.